Jasper, do you want to go to... Oh, <laughs> Jasper, do you want to go to doggy daycare? Oh my goodness, you want to go to doggy daycare? Come here. Yeah, oh, oh my goodness, doggy daycare. Let's go. Oh, no. Slow down, slow down. What's up, folks? So a lot of you guys were, uh, nah, actually, not a lot of you guys, maybe like two, two or three people uh, asked to see more parts of Vancouver. So we're just going to be going around and, uh, you know, just supporting the local economy. All right, I will buy it. It'll be good for the economy. But first, we're going to take this guy to doggy daycare, get him some socialization. Hello. Hi, Jasper. This is Jasper. Hi, there you Jasper. Go. All right, so the first stop is gonna be for some cafefe. Uh, we're gonna check out a new location, and the building itself is supposed to look pretty interesting. So. Ryanhitsradio.com. All right, so this is the new Nemesis location. I'm pretty sure the outside is supposed to look like a flower. Kind of looks like a garlic bulb. What do you oh, think? Yeah, red garlic. Red garlic. It looks sick. Really However, unfortunately, they are closed today. Should we just go to our town? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Look at that. So this used to be the coffee shop that I used to come pretty much on a daily basis to work out of when we used to work in this neighborhood. Also, they have plants. All right, so now that we are properly caffeinated, we're gonna go get some food at Down Low Chicken. That over there is Nada, which is a massive uh, zero waste store, which I've definitely vlogged before. What would you say about uh, Down Low? Definitely not the healthiest. Don't eat there more than like once a month. They're yeah, really once good. a month. Super heavy, but so good. Like they slap like chicken skin oh, and like a fried egg and like yeah. bacon and a oh, piece yeah. of like, chicken thigh. They knock money off the price if you get dark meat. Dark meat. Yeah. Which I think is like legendary. It's like, like why wouldn't you get dark meat? Yeah, it's cheaper. It's delicious. Giving you your friends and family doesn't count. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Someone has told me to do it. Oh, that's so funny. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> These guys are so nice. They give us a discount for. What is it? TikTok? TikTok famous. TikTok famous, wow. <laughs> they give us a, a sweet little discount. Now you guys have to go. Now you guys have to go. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Alright, this is the best spot to eat at our little hidey hole. Well, now you guys know. Oh, crispy, crispy. Mm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mm, they got so some good. seasoning on them. I heard the spicy. I don't know how spicy it's gonna be. Wow. Mm. All right. Sandwich. Wow. Yeah. I was pretty sure if you wanted to try some in addition. How was uh, it? Delish. Yes. Um, also, a lot of food. A so lot of food. We don't... probably didn't need that extra side. Yeah, we probably we didn't even finish it. This entire thing was the fries, so this could easily be split between two people. Four um, people. Maybe even four, but we eat a lot, so, and the burgers were massive. I think I went in that way. Took you like an hour. Oh boy. <laughs> really appreciate it. Oh, fantastic. Great. That's good. Good. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day, okay? Just a couple of good old Samaritans, eh? Oh, yeah. That's the pale ale. Right? The ocean sunshine. So 33 acres is probably my favorite microbrewery here in Vancouver. Do you see this um, baby as I'm looking at it right now. Pineapple, citrus, easy drinking. Yours is so good. Yeah. Pineapple, citrus. Three acres of euphoria. Mm -hmm. Tastes like banana and nuts. And it is. Best part, 9.2%. Alright, so as another midday pick me up, we're gonna go grab another coffee at a local Vancouver coffee shop called Elysian. Is this good? Let's go. Look at this. This is the thing about East Van. There's art literally everywhere. Hello. Oh, thank you. Jasper, you have a good time at Doggy Beach here? In the beach. Beach.
so that was a pretty busy afternoon. We're just gonna chill at home for a bit and then we have a dinner reservation for tonight, which we are very excited about, but we'll probably see you guys then. All right, so just woke up from the craziest nap. It was very much needed. We were just exhausted. I felt like we were just like back to back, just like doing shit for the entire morning and afternoon. Uh, but yeah, that nap was so good. That was a good nap. If you guys are feeling cranky or moody, you know, Try taking a nap. <laughs> All right, so let's do a very quick be less shitty beauty. Get ready with me uh, because yeah, we have our dinner coming up. Very first thing, I'm gonna reapply my sunscreen because today is a very very sunny day. For like the next like following weeks, I'm pretty sure like summer has started. Like it's like just sunny. It's so nice outside. The sunscreen I've been using lately is from Supergoop. It's the Play SPF 50 Everyday Lotion. Um, not the biggest fan of it. It's, I don't know, a little bit on the heavier side, but also it sings the shit out of my eyeballs. So I'm gonna try the Ulta MD one next. The only issue with that one is like, it's so expensive. And yeah, if you are supposed to reapply your SPF, that shit ain't cheap. So I don't know, if you guys have a good affordable SPF recommendation that's like a mineral and chemical blend, let me know. After that, let's go in with just a tiny little bit of tinted moisturizer. Run that out with a sponge. I definitely don't wear makeup every day. Um, but yeah, on the days that I'm filming or, you know, when I'm going out for a nice reservation, you know, feels good. Especially because it's such like an active way to take care of yourself and like spend time on yourself, I like doing skincare in the evening. I don't know, I just really enjoy the process. Tiny bit of MAC strobe cream. I'm probably using the MAC strobe cream for three to four years now. Um, hello, you can come in. Look at that. Have you seen how glowy it makes you look? What do you think? Very, yeah. Very glowy. Very glowy. Just a little bit of blush. We're gonna take this blush oil. You better blend that real well, buddy. <laughs> what are you gonna wear tonight? I'm thinking black. Yeah, I was thinking black. How's the how's the nap? Oh, delightful. It was a great nap. <laughs> One of the best naps ever. Yeah, especially because like the sun was on us. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of powder. Um, just on the areas that you don't want to be too shiny. Tiny a little bit of contour around the nose, on the jaw, and just underneath the cheekbones. And same thing, just blend that out. All right, and there you have it, folks. Let's get dressed. Yeah, so we came here, I think, when the pandemic started. 
and it was pretty meh. But today was phenomenal. Especially that uh, my personal favorite was that mushroom. What kind of mushroom was it? The maitake mushroom. Maitake mushroom. It was like fried. It was like fried chicken. So good. And then the um, what's that green stuff? The sea asparagus. Not the sea asparagus. The fiddleheads. The fiddleheads. Mm. Fiddleheads are so good. Yeah. But apparently, if you don't cook them properly, they're not the best for you. So. Yeah, don't go around cooking them or eating them raw at home. You might get yourself sick. Also, look at this like random little house that they kept in for the development. Uh, like there's no way they're gonna take that out now. It's like these like two high rises and then just like a little heritage yellow house. Jasper Vasper. Hi Jasper. All right, so next up, we're just gonna go for a nice chill walk by the beach. Just nice and easy sunset vibes. Jasp, do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Jasper keeps eating all these things. Pretend to sit down at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Did you do it? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Okay, but we need to sit <laughs> Now my hair looked great. All right, so give us your final remarks on supporting local businesses and why it's important. Restaurants that are smaller have a lot more creative freedoms, so it really encourages artists and people who are creatives to really, you know, explore what they love, um, and that pushes the industry and that pushes, you know, like culture and art in yeah. whatever city you're in and by having less restrictions on artists and being able to play with that a little bit more, yeah. you're able to really serve the client and guest a little bit better. Yeah, and obviously it's like a huge privilege for, you know, from our perspective that, you know, we're able to support these local businesses because for the vast majority of the times, local businesses, it is going to be more like, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna cost more than. They have to charge more. Yeah, but you know, from time to time, if you have the option of like supporting a Starbucks versus you know a local coffee shop, just go for the local coffee shops. Not only is the quality just gonna be better, but you know you can actually see a visible difference in your community because you know the pandemic has definitely been hard for local businesses. Right, folks, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and remember. Remember, my intros are always the best. Like outros. My outros are always the best. Babe, you just fucked it up. Remember, my outros are the best. I'm gonna keep both. <laughs> Remember to be less shitty.